Hello guys and welcome in this first video. This is a tutorial for very beginners. If you struggle to deploy basic front-end on the internet computer, this is for you. Or if you just want to deploy your first website on the internet computer, this is for you as well. Okay, so let's jump in. For this tutorial, uh, I will be using DFX version 0.7. So we can check that, DFX version 0.7 beta 2. If you are following this tutorial, you will need DFX 0.7. So if you have an older version of DFX or if you don't have DFX installed, I will put a command in the description and you will have to put the command inside your terminal. Okay, so here we are in Visual Studio Code. I'm using VS Code, but you can use any editor of your choice. And I'm inside the folder of project, but you can be anywhere you want. And we are going to create a new folder. First website. And we are going to create two files. The first one is index.html and the second one is dfx.json. So index.html is the, the file that your computer is going to read. This is the basic structure of your website. Uh, the purpose of the video is not to teach HTML. So if you are really starting and you want to know more about HTML, there will be a link in the description. For the moment, we just need to create uh, basic HTML, so let's do it. Okay, we are going to put a small message. And that, oops, and that's it. You can save the change. Okay. Uh, dfx.json is very important because it's the configuration file for the dfx application uh, we used in the terminal. So json is a common format for configuration files or sharing data. If you want to know more about json as well, there will be a link in the description. But for the purpose of this video, you just need to know that this is the file that dfx is going to read. And you need this file if you want the FX to, to work. And we are going to say that we have a canister. So we say it like that, canisters. You have to put an S because usually uh, in bigger projects you will have multiple canisters. Then you put the name, so website. Oops. And then you have to specify the type. So we have an asset canister because it's only frontend. And we have to, to specify the source. And we are going to put the files inside the public folder. So we need to create the public folder. Public. And we need to put the public folder inside this folder. And we need to put the files as well. Okay, and we have to put index.html uh, inside the folder public because we we specified that uh, our source for the asset canister are inside the folder public. Uh, dfx.json is at the root of the project because this is the configuration file. Okay, I think we are ready to deploy. Okay, so we are ready to deploy our canister. We just need to start dfx and start the replica of the network. So for that, we need to move inside the right folder. For that, I use the change directory command, first website. OK, so we can list the file. We have the dfx.json file, and we have the public file. So we are in the right folder, and now we can start dfx. OK, so dfx is starting. Uh, so this window is going to be used by DFX and is going to simulate the network. So we need a second window, like that. And we need to move to the right folder as well. So again, like that. Mm, not this one, like that, and like that. Okay, and we can just deploy. So. We say deploy and we don't have to specify the network. So I'm going to remove that. 
like that. We don't have to specify the network because we are going to deploy uh, locally. We just have to wait a few seconds. And that's it, the FX has done uploading our canister. We can see that we have the canister ID uh, here. And we can see that we have our file index.html that has been uploaded inside our canister. So we are going to check our canister. For that, we need to make a request, an HTTP request, HTTP, to this IP address, which is the local IP address. We are going to specify the port, uh, 8000, and we are going to specify that we want the canister ID with this ID, so it's the same. And let's check. And it's working. We can see our HTML page, hello from Motoko School. Okay, that was good, but now we are going to deploy on the internet computer. So for that, we have a command, which is called dfx deploy, and we can add network equal ic. We are going to try. I don't think it's going to work, but we'll see. Okay, so it did not work. We run into this error, so canister cannot be installed because of memory allocation. I think this is an error, and I think it will be fixed once Genesis has launched. But right now, we are going to try a new command, uh, dfx canister. Uh, okay, this one. So dfx canister uh, network IC, of course, install all. We want to install all our canister. We have just one, but okay. Uh, we are in mode install. So I think you can reinstall and update canisters. But for today, we are going to install. And the memory allocation is very important. You have to specify your number. So I have this number, which is working. Uh, you can put one gigabyte or you can put any number uh, that is high enough. And let's check. Okay, so uh, it worked. And we are going to see our canister. Okay, so we are going to check if our canister is really uh, accessible with an HTTP request. So we need to specify HTTP then the ID of our canister, and then we need to specify ic0.app. And it's working. We can see hello from Motoko School. And this is an HTML page that is being uh, emerged on the internet computer, and everyone can uh, access it. So I hope this video was helpful, and I see you in the next video.